comes down to you at the end and, and you get it done, right? And you have your way to battle. I mean, right? You have to fight, you have to mm -hmm. fly, you have to get the tough one. Uh, right away, you find out the next one. Just what it took to get the job done, right? What did it take? Honestly, I was just thinking, okay, this is a Friday in my practice room. I just had a hard drill session, and now I got 23 minutes of live, and I got to go and do every rep as hard as, as possibly can. So that that's just practice for this. Like the result was already worked out before I got here. It looks like you're doing a battle this week. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a shiner, but you know, I think it's just decoration for my face, so I'm, I'm digging yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Not wrong, for sure. um, so you're the one. Oh my goodness, I have like a room of just brutally like tough, hard working girls and, and they did their thing just, just as well as I did. And what does it say about the team? You know, you, you have some setbacks on the front side of the bracket. Mm -hmm. Ten old variables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? What's the culture? I think I think I think it honestly does come down to our culture. Um, like being able to push each other in the room because we love each other and it's not out of hate or jealousy or any negative emotion but just I'm pushing this girl and I'm shoving her head into the wall because I'm, I'm getting her ready for, for what's going to happen out here and, and, and we came prepared. Yeah. Jumpstart us? Um, I, I honestly think we're going to build off of this in next year. I, I think that this is just the beginning. Like, we were a really young team last year, and we had All-Americans last year. We had somebody in the finals last year, but to come back this year with even more training and even more experience under our, our belt, like, that was, that was phenomenal for us. And, like, the result was concerned. So. Do you take any leadership role upon yourself? Or yeah, I, I do. Um, I was team captain last year. Uh, and I think that that was like a really beautiful experience and it taught me like how to exist in a leadership role. But I stepped down this year to focus on my own journey and, and I think that was a good thing in the end, but my teammates still look up to me, so like I carry that responsibility. What's next for you like, in your journey? What are you, what are you looking for? I think I want to stay at Menlo um, and pursue a master's and stay in coach and help uh, build the next generation of Menlo athletes. Yeah. I can see excited about coaching. I think that I've grown so much as a person through wrestling, um, like through, I don't know, like issues at, at home, from living through a pandemic, from transferring schools, like Menlo truly became a second home for me, so to go and give that experience to somebody else while also like creating a great athlete, I think that's it's like a fulfilling, gratifying experience and I, I want to I take part in that. I think every part of my journey, I've been taking it step by step. So I'm gonna have to have a conversation with my coach and see about that weight, see about a weight cut, because um, that's an experience that I don't want to miss. Mm -hmm. I want to thank my family. I want to thank my coaches. I want to thank all of my teammates. Honestly, just everybody who helped me get to where I am today. Like, thank you. Mm -hmm.